going to start recording so namaste everyone thank you for being here with us on karuna mai holistic platform and today on our online platform we are hosting a kids recipe class uh, this is a special class designed for kids so that they can watch a recipe by dr sona vivek she is an ayurveda doctor from india and she is going to teach how to make kids friendly pizza which is healthy also because a lot of pizza that you get outside in the pizza hut or in the fast food restaurants are not healthy they are junk food because they are loaded with too much refined oils too much white flour and too much processed cheese which is not good because it's not good for our health if you learn how to make a healthy pizza then you can teach to others that you know a very very healthy pizza so uh this pizza has special ingredients and dr sona is going to tell you about these ingredients why it is beneficial how it helps you and she's going to show you how to make it so i hope that you all would enjoy this class and uh uh you can ask her questions at the end of the session i will share this video recording afterwards i will also share with you the powerpoint slides of uh, the recipe so that you can make it if you make it make sure you show it to me or send me a picture and email that you made it or you show it to me in the kids yoga class okay so it will be really fun and uh, dr sona vivek is also a family doctor like um, she help she does family medicine she has helped with uh, pediatrics and uh, pregnancies and uh, she is an uh, bams uh, ayurveda doctor in india so with a lot of uh, experience in consultation as well clinically so i am going to pass her the spotlight now so that we can see her kitchen we can see uh, how she's going to teach us how to cook a very healthy form of pizza thank you dr sona hello good evening kids everybody please unmute yourselves and say good evening good evening good evening we can start with a prayer no we can start with a prayer yes good evening sir god krishna ya vasudevaya devaki nandanaya cha nanda gopa kumaraya गोविंदा नमो नम नंदन वसुदेव से नंदगोप से नंदन यशोदानंदन वंदे देवकी नंदन सदा गुड इवनिंग ऑल इज इट ऑडिबल इट इज ऑडिबल डॉक्टर सोना इट इज Okay. Uh, today uh, we are going to make a healthy Ayurvedic millet pizza. I hope okay. ev everybody knows what millets are. If not, Doctor yeah. Sona will tell us. <laughs> yeah, millets are very healthy, and it is easily digestible too for the kids. so we should eat a balanced diet balanced diet means it should come all proteins fats vitamins minerals carbohydrates etc so these millets are rich in this so today we are going to prepare this millet dosha pizza okay yeah millet pizza <laughs> it is a pancake it is very easy to make and it is very tasty easily digestible we can yes. prepare from the home itself is, is millet bajra no it is a badniyat millet oh. we call sama sama rice also we call it sama this is pizza yeah pizza
It is a form of bajra. Our doctor Sona is from South India, so she may not know bajra oh, okay, okay. completely. It is a form of bajra, yes. Banyard okay, is okay. a form of bajra. No, actually, uh, yeah. Banyard we usually call it as Kudrewali in, in, in South. And uh, the bajra is a kambu. kambu. We used to say kambu. Uh, there are uh, seven millets, I guess. Uh, on a finger millet, bajra, and uh, banyard. Um, I know the Tamil names, but I'm not sure with the English names. Okay, yes. But it is banyard millet, so that's uh, yeah. that's that we know. <laughs> Yeah, oh, banyard. 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 And these millets are rich in protein, carbohydrates, lots of fiber that prevents constipation and it is easily digestible too. It is very healthy. Okay, then we can start. Yes, we can start. We can't see your kitchen yet. <laughs> Okay, okay, I will show you. Mm -hmm. This is my kitchen. I will explain. Yeah, this is the batter which I made with the banyan millet. These are the cooked vegetables which I took. Capsicum, green capsicum. Tomatoes, carrots, cabbage. And these are the two sauces which is very good to the kids. And it is very healthy too. Seed sauce and pumpkin sauce. So today, kids, we are going to make pizza with this pumpkin sauce. We are instead of tomato sauce, we are adding pumpkin sauce. Okay. Okay. And this one is the paneer, homely made paneer. paneer. How to make paneer and all, I will share in the paper mm. presentation, okay? Rayansh, what is your question? Do we have to use them or we can use whatever we want on our no, pizza? You can use whatever vegetables you have at home. Okay. How do you make the batter, uh, Dr. Sona? You have already made the batter. Yeah, I made uh, with uh, some, I soaked the summer rice for us. After that, I washed cleanly and I made the batter. Yeah, summer rice means barnyard millet. Yeah, barnyard millet. For thickness, I add the sago rice, no? Okay, for thickness, you added sabo rice. Sago rice. Sago, sago rice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is uh, Will you be giving the proportion of that in the PowerPoint, uh, how you made the batter? Yeah, I have already shared it to you. Okay, okay, okay. I will share the PowerPoint with everyone. Is it clear for everyone, the recipes and the ingredients? Yes. Okay, can we start cooking? Yes. Kids? Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. And this paneer is very healthy for kids. It will help the bone development, strengthens the immune system, promotes growth. It is good for hair and skin, okay? okay. You can add a ghee before making 
dough siya. Pizza. <laughs> Before making pizza. Can everyone see this? What I'm doing? Yes, we can. Everyone started doing it? Yes. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, they they are not cooking with you. They are watching you. They'll cook afterwards. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> they are watching you because we don't know the proportion. We have to read the PowerPoint how to as how to make the batter because you have uh, barnyard millet and sago rice, right? Yeah, yeah, sago rice. Okay. After making this like a pancake, we can add or drizzle a little ghee above it. Okay. So it will be very tasty. This is medium flame that you're cooking? Yeah, I'm cooking in medium flame. No, but what are you predicting? Sorry? What are you asking? Uh, she's asking you didn't like uh, the stove. What, ma'am? Uh, 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 she's asking whether you didn't uh, switch on the stove. The stove? <laughs> no, the stove is already. <laughs> Can you see this? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it is cooked. And sabu pudding. Someone is asking something, I think. No, no, they, he's just talking. She's just talking, Priya Darshini. <laughs> okay, I think it is cooked. We can change or take it to a plate, okay? Dr. Sona, yeah. would you be able to tell us a little bit about how you made the sauces? What did you add? And like, I know you have the PowerPoint, which I'll share with them, but okay, can you sure, give a little? Sure. I made, this is one, two sauces. Uh, one is sunflower sauce, sunflower seed sauce. I use the sunflower seeds for the sauce. And this one is the pumpkin sauce. So sunflower seeds, I add uh, raw sunflower seeds, three by four cup seeds, then one, one by four cups water, one by three cup lemon juice, two large garlic, half teaspoon salt. This is the ingredients that I made with sunflower sauce, seed sauce. Okay? Okay. Sunflower seeds, lemon okay. juice, okay. garlic, salt, okay, and water. 
as you require. Okay. So pumpkin, I add small pieces of pumpkin, uh, same uh, garlic and water and little salt. Pumpkin, garlic and salt. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very delicious. The Is details there... and, and all I, I, I will share, okay? Yeah, the, the, the PowerPoint I will send with exact proportion for sure, but Thank I'm you, just curious to know. Uh, you. So pumpkin sauce has no lemon, right? Uh, sorry, ma'am? This pumpkin sauce does not have lemon inside. No, no okay. lemon. Why is she? Can we garnish? Yes, we can start. Can we start? Yes. You are the First, I am going to spread pumpkin sauce. Okay. Okay. After cooking in the pressure cooker pumpkin, we should smash the pumpkin, okay? This is how we made the sauce pumpkin. Make small pieces of pumpkin in the pressure. Then we need to smash it. So I'm spreading this pumpkin sauce. Yeah, it is well. It is very tasty for the kids. Instead of tomato sauce, we can use pumpkin. It is very healthy. What are the health benefits of pumpkin, Dr. Sona? Okay. Hello? Sorry? Uh, can you tell the yes, health yeah, benefits of pumpkin yeah. to the kids? Yes, it is. Uh, the pumpkin has got immunity boosting vitamins in it. It is rich in fiber so that it will prevent the constipation. It has also got antibacterial properties. It will kill the intestinal worms too. And also it is a rich in antioxidants. Okay. It also so has protein, benefits. right? There's also yes. protein in pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Proteins also. Pumpkin it has protein. got various health benefits. After that, we can add the veggies, okay? I'm adding little cabbage. Little carrot. You can make these pieces very small too, okay? The vegetables and all. You can crush it and make can make into very very small pieces. Garnishing it with tomatoes and capsicums. Yep, you can do. 
These veggies are pre-cooked. You already yeah. cooked them? Yeah, yeah. It is well and good. I did cook it before. They were cooked just in like uh, they were uh, cooked in just like sauteed in ghee or yeah. They're not boiled, right? No, no, no. After that, we can add the seed sauce above. Okay. I am using the spoons to spread this. If you have any spreader or something like that, after that, I am going to add the paneer, which is very good for the kids' health. Okay. This one is funny, kids. Homemade paneer, right? Homemade paneer. Fresh paneer. So not the market. Not the market. It is well and good to prepare and make the food from the home itself. It is very don't go for any junk foods. Okay, kids? Okay. Yes, good. Yeah, I think the paneer is going to finish paneer pizza. You can add a little sauce to white sauce, seed sauce. I'm going to garnish. Yeah, this is tomato. It looks like I cut. I don't know it has come to, right. I'm going to make a face, funny face, okay? Okay. This is the lips I made with. Tomato. Tomato? Yeah, tomato. <laughs> I made two eyes with capsicum. I think yeah, I green eyes. Green eyes? Yeah, green eyes. You can make with black mm -hmm. eyes too. If you have got olives and all, you can make with... I want black eyes. What? I want black eyes. You want black eyes? Yeah. Okay, then you can... Use olives. Olives, it is good. You can use olives to make black eyes. 
and i'm making the nose with carrot carrot <coughs> yeah small nose two eyes one nose and lips okay is it good is it good yeah it's good yeah it is very tasty too it's good thank you so you should all prepare this from your home with the help of your mommies okay okay <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. This is delicious. No. What, ma? What are you telling? Delicious. No. Can it be smooth? No, it's not smooth. Tell me to run out. How much is good for health? That's how I'm eating. You should eat. Eat. Don't eat. Yeah, I think it is somewhat. Okay, kids. My father had a baby. Mm -hmm. We same. can use any okay. vegetables. Uh, we, if you want to make black eyes, use olives. <laughs> yeah. And also, you can use the cucumber pieces. Cut it it round. Make as a an eye, and at the center of the two cucumber pieces, you can add olives. Okay, it will be very nice to see. Do we have to heat it again? Sure. Do we need to heat this again? Uh, no, no need, ma'am. Because I already cooked the vegetables, veggies and all. If you want, you can preheat in the oven for ten minutes. Okay. It is optional. Nice. So it's ready. So can we cut this pizza? Yes. Sure. Into pieces, like four pieces. I'm going to cut. Okay. Okay. Oh, the face will. Kids, I'm going to cut this pizza. I don't have pizza cutter here. If you have pizza cutter, then you can. It's very soft. Yeah, it is very soft and fluffy.
Yeah, I have cut it into four pieces. You can take it as a snack. Also, you can take it as a breakfast. Don't go for any junk foods. Instead, you can prepare your own food from home by yourself. Okay, kids? Yeah. It's time to eat. It's ready. My mouth is watering. Oh my God. I wish this was a live <laughs> recipe class so we could all eat. <laughs> if it is not live, I, I can arrange or garnish it. Little more better. Maybe kids can make this pizza on their birthdays instead of getting the unhealthy junk pizza yeah. from, from the store. <laughs> and then they can share okay. it with their friends too. See, we eat, healthy, we eat a healthy one. <laughs> yeah. You can add any vegetables. Yeah. You can tell your friends also. Maybe on your birthdays next time you can have your mom prepare this one. <laughs> kids you should try it okay today itself you should try I okay? want to try is there any doubt yes everyone back on screen we have seen the pizza uh, I will share the whole PowerPoint slides, uh, which will share uh, how the batter was prepared with barnyard millet, the proportion. Dr. Sona, with the proportion of the flour, how did you make the batter? Dr. Sona, you're, you're on mute, Dr. Sona. Yeah, yeah, tell me, ma'am. Uh, with the batter, uh, how, what was the proportion you used? How did you make the flour exactly, the uh, pizza flour? Yeah, I will, I will tell you, okay? I, I took uh, two cups of this uh, millet and one cup, this sago. Sago rice. Yeah, sago, I made... Uh, uh, like a, a floor. Uh, I didn't get the flow, so I uh, crushed it in the crusher and make it as a floor. And I mix one cup to this floor. Two cups millets, the, one cup sago rice. Yeah, sago flour. If, if you are getting sago flour like that, you can take it or otherwise you can crush it in the grinder or something like that and add after mixing the batter. Okay. And then anything else, just water. Yeah. How much water? A water, uh, uh, no, don't uh, make it as a, a watery. It must have a little thickness. So you can add water according to your... Sago is nothing but tapioca, right? Sorry, ma'am? Sago is nothing but tapioca, right? Yeah, yeah, right. It is tapioca, yeah. starch of tapioca. Yeah, the sabudana, you're right. Sabudana, we call it. That is why it gave a texture. Otherwise, millet would not easily give a texture to the pizza. Yeah, yeah. Ba Bajra millets, barnyard millets, two cups and one cup tapioca. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Is great. Anyone has a question for Dr. Sona? Anyone? Any of the kids? Anybody? How was the class? How did you like? Priyadarshini, how did you like the pizza recipe? Actually, my name is Priyadarshini and her name is Mitra. Mitra? Yeah. Mitra, how was the recipe? How did you like the class? 
Yeah. I would like to. Yeah. I like. You like? Will you make it? Yeah. Nice. Good. So I have a question on uh, millets. It's a general question. Yes. So I'm I'm uh, hearing that millets millets are very good for health and I. And no disadvantages, but I heard one thing that it has a goitry factor, so that will disturb the thyroid gland. Is that true, or if you continue taking millets, that uh, you can't take um, more than twice or in a week or something? Uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, it's all depend on the sp the oshas and all, so you need not take it in. Uh, more quantities on a proportion you can take this okay okay, okay. yeah I all... uh, tell me ma'am no 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 i was just saying that uh, dr sona was right because uh, ayurveda sees your dosha also so if you uh, have yeah. a particular body type that is According more to your dosha if you're more uh, prone to some problem like diabetes or thyroid, then Ayurveda will see it accordingly and guide you that maybe you should be limiting certain things in your diet, yeah. uh, adding more of certain things. So Ayurveda is also specific for a person's um, <clears throat> condition and uh, what they could be prone to. Okay, okay. Their genetics and all. Okay. But millets as such, I think if you eat in moderation is good, but too much of anything could be... Um... Every every food we should eat, do not in a too much. It should have a special proportion, a quantity. Likewise, we should eat every food. Millets is especially good. good for diabetes, right, Dr. Sona? Yeah, diabetes, it is very good. And also for weight loss also. Yeah, I mean, it's a healthier alternative than going for white flour to have millets and tapioca. Yes, yes, the yes. Outside pizza is uh, very junk. Yeah, and the seed sauce, it, it is an alternative for mayonnaise. Yes, that is also a very healthy option. Seeds are good in, like, some of your seeds are good in omega fats and also. Yeah. It's uh, very good for your brain, good for your heart like it's good we should have uh, some good uh, seeds and so seed sauce is such a uh, amazing alternative uh, that dr sona came up with amazing yeah anyone else uh, how did they like the class punam um Riyansh, can you tell how did you like the class very much it's, have you ever heard of millet pizza before? No. No? So are you going to try it out? Okay. Yes. Yes? Great. Then you have to tell us in the kids yoga class when you actually make the pizza. <laughs> uh, Aman, Amandeep, uh, do you, would you want to mute yourself and tell how you like the class? Hi, Amandeep Kaur. Uh, hi, it's it's nice. I haven't heard about the um, Milets before that we can make the pizza with it. And it's really nice. The unique, uh, healthier version. We can make it with other flowers too and not use white flower, which is unhealthy. But millet is a very unique type also. Good for people who could have uh, diabetes or cholesterol and all that. Uh, millets is good. Yeah, uh, we can use another millets also. Ragi, like etc. etc. millets. We can use instead of this. Millets also has good uh, proportion of iron for people who are uh, you know, vegetarian especially. But again, everything in moderation. Nothing in too much. Yeah. And mixing everything with is, the mm. Poonam, do you want to unmute yourself uh, and let us know how you like the class? I actually love this recipe. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit little um, work for me to do, but uh, of course, Pranchi liked it. Ooh. Let's see. 
if she like if she uh, it tastes good then obviously she'll eat it for sure yeah it it's really good that's healthy the, one yeah that's the challenge to get your kids to love the healthier taste of food so we want to bring you know that is why we want to create these unique type of recipes like pumpkin sauce seed yeah, sauce so- yeah she was even asking me if we can make it today i said no it's not possible because there is some work to be done before <laughs> so yeah but sure uh, she likes uttapam i guess this one the, the taste will resemble obviously like uttapam so i hope he will enjoy this recipe yes it's 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 a very big challenge to get them to like uh, healthier things but like you know all the co- ingredients in this pizza is like good in- ingredients they are uh, uh, like you will not feel guilty you know like if you eat any pizza outside you will have some guilt okay this has even if it has veggies it is full of white flour too much refined oils Yeah, too much. What I really cheese. feel, what I really feel, kids enjoy pizza because of cheese, and uh, obviously we can put add cheese on it as well. So obviously this is a super hit recipe for sure. Yes, if you uh, if you make homemade paneer though, it would be even nicer because it's healthy. A processed cheese uh, may not be a very healthy option. So if you make mm-hmm. homemade paneer, it might be actually a lot healthier for kids. Yeah. Um and it the peep kids like paneer too so maybe try once if she likes <laughs> Oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Who, who all likes paneer here You like paneer Yeah <laughs> at least Pranchi enjoys paneer <laughs> That is uh, a plus point What about Rayansh you like paneer Well I do a little bit You like cheese? Uh, not, not so much. Good. That is processed stuff. You can, if you don't like uh, paneer, you can also use tofu. Like you can make tofu at home as well, or get organic tofu. Okay. You can use that. That could be a replacement as well for those who don't eat paneer. That tofu also has proteins. So, all depends on your taste. How about Priya Darshini? You like paneer? No. 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 You then you can use tofu also if you want if you like. That also has a lot of protein. We wanted Dr. Sona wanted to make it a complete diet like millets, car- carbohydrates, starch, protein. Yeah. protein fat mineral vitamins carbohydrates what are your favorite veggies i think before we end the session we could ask what are favorite veggies of all the kids who would tell us first priyansh Why olives? Hmm. Uh, olives, veggies. Veggies. Olives are veggies. Olives. Let cucumber, lettuce, cucumber. Vegetables. Green chili. Green chili. What about carrots? Uh, yes, broccoli. Wow. you can use broccoli also on it yes broccoli is very good nice thank you what about uh, poonam uh, what is her, your daughter's favorite veggies huh yes anga poonam huh poonam seems to be gone i um, was uh, one cucumber sorry i was away okay. What is your what is your daughter's favorite vegetables? Mm, I guess uh, green pepper out of these veggies. And what else? And what else celery? does she like? Celery. Celery, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I guess uh, 
if you ask me, green pepper is uh, her favorite one. She enjoys green pepper in almost everything. So. <laughs> What about Priya Dashini, your daughter? What what veggies does she like? Uh, tell tell what what are veggies she likes? I like cucumber. This is broccoli. This is carrot. This is tomato. Good. Only tomato and cucumber. She eats carrot and broccoli. She's saying, but she. <laughs> <laughs> what about Amandeep? What are your favorite veggies? Amandeep is not there or Amandeep? Amandeep isn't there. But anyways, it was a wonderful class. Anyone else has any question for uh, Dr. Sona? I will share the PowerPoint in the email. Unam, you have a question? Oh, no, uh, nothing. Yeah. Nothing? Sorry, yeah, I think I'm mute. I'm not mute. Okay. That's great. Uh, Priya Darshini, you have any question? Uh, the recipe and the PDF will be shared through email, right? Yes, I will send the PDF, uh, uh, the PowerPoints, uh, the PDF slides and the... Um, uh, this class recording as well on YouTube. I'll, I'll share it all in the email. Just oh, give me okay. some time. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to upload it and all in the website and I'll share it. I'll send. Oh, in, yeah, the, in the PDF, it will be everything like the proportion and how to make the ingredients also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay then. Huh? Thank you. That's it. Nothing, nothing else. Okay. Uh, Gauri. Yeah. Uh, just wanted to know uh, on which YouTube channel uh, this video will be coming? Oh, on my YouTube channel. I will share the link, okay? I, okay. Will, okay. I will send it in the email. And okay. um, I'll, I'll send you an email. I usually do send it. Maybe you missed reading it, but I'll, I'll send you my YouTube channel. Okay. Usually I try to read, but sometimes I just miss out and I, I haven't checked the link for youtube channel yeah okay no i'll 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 personally email you and i'll send you the link thank you no problem no problem no problem uh you want me to send the yoga class request to amandeep yeah the one who was uh, in this class as well okay the the adult yoga class that you are in right? yeah the one which i am in yeah okay yes i will i will for sure thank you Problem. Uh, Riyansh and Riyansh mom, you guys have any question for Dr. Sona at all? No, thank you. Okay. So then I guess uh, we will end the class today and I will share the PDF and the recording soon. And I look forward to seeing the photographs from you guys of the pizza. <laughs> Awesome. So thank you everybody for joining in today. Thank you. Thank sure, you. Sure, definitely we will. I will share thank the you. recipe with you as well. The one. Yeah. Yeah, please, please do share with us. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much. Bye, Rayanj. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for the class. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bye.